guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be talking about how free twenty four seven servers work. So this has been really a prize of free twenty four seven servers, like for example, Falix has been for quite a long time actually. Um, I've not really been following them because they're so it's a kind of trash. But I mean, like those servers are really trash because. It's lag, it's lag. So basically, the reason why their servers are so goddamn bad. Oh, sorry for the lightning there. Um, the reason why is that they're so bad in terms of server performance and like even multi goal performance is because they don't give you even a single core. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure at least 80% or even more of you have quad core processors and the rest probably have dual core. Um, so the reason I'm saying that is because, well, cores really tend to um, increase performance. Like the more cores you have, the better. And that, of course, doesn't work for everybody. And um, like a, for example, Quadro. P650, I think that is. Um, if you have that with a Ryzen 5 2600X, is I think one of the best budget processors. The performance is really going to be bad because your GPU isn't that good. And yeah, if you have like a GPU is getting bottlenecked. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, please. Oh, God, I have more. So so basically, your GPU is getting bottlenecked by your CPU, and that really affects performance. But anyways, on to the main topic. I saw, I think his name is Chicken, or Chicken, I don't, I don't really know what that is. I'll put a link, okay, I'll put a link in the description. It really gives out a lot of your information, and I think I can rectify it. So basically this video is going to be covering his video, so I'm going to be doing a link of his video. But what is said in the video was that you cannot get a free 24 7 server and, and expect it to be good. Well, there's some truth to that. Um, God, how could he give me that? So there's some of the truth to that, like, um, be doing for certain servers being absolute trash, but not all hosts are bad because if you look at Galaxy, I think is the host that I worked with. I mean, I work with many hosts like um, Netric Nodes and Galactic and someone that hacks it through Mike, who is the owner of Galactic, and I think he's an admin of. Um, Bad, who is a who is probably owner of Exit and all the hosts that are really popular for the 24 session category. But I have knowledge of how these work, okay? So let's go back into the video that he said. He said that you can't get a free 24 7 server because, well, they have to use up their RAM, the band. Why are people not joining the game? But they have to use their bandwidth, RAM, storage, and whatnot. Listen, there's some truth to that. Like, Eternals, I think, uses like a PC or like a computer for servers, which is completely understandable because that is what Steam do, and like most popular um, game servers do is that they have dedicated computers to run their servers but in case of 24 7 servers you can't keep a computer on for 24 7 because that is not healthy for the computer it is not good for your system to be on for 24 7 as we all know so how do they keep their servers on 24 7 and the answer is they do not have a computer okay there's something called vps's they're different from vpns just so you know um 
these VPS actually a cloud servers which don't really compromise on performance and oh I just knocked the guy off <laughs> that was nasty so they don't really compromise on performance it really depends on the cores and threads that the CPU they're hosting on has like the best server CPU I think is used as like an epic in AMD Epic and the Ryzen 9 1450X. Also, some hosts have like an i9 900K, which but for servers, I don't think it's that good. Because what are you gonna be using the K for? Like, the K basically means that it's an unlock processor, meaning you can overclock it. What are you gonna be using overclocking for in like a server CPU? That's right, you're not gonna use it as like an overclock in servers because, well, that just doesn't make sense. And, well, this guy's gonna kill me. Why did he go so much? He's the servers are basically hosted on cloud servers, which have different nodes. So, if you look at the 247 server host, they have different nodes, such as like node 1 Germany, node 2 France, and whatever and their locations are on. As I was saying, there are different nodes, and if you have like a node selection, you should probably select the node that is the closest to you. Meaning if you live in, for example, Russia, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's our nodes, and you select something like the US or Singapore or something like that, then it's, it's guaranteed to be a worse of an experience if you select Russia or India, which is the country that I live in. Or Germany, which is like one of the most common nodes because it's kind of cheap. And he also made a point that why would they host servers which costs money? Well, he might be saying they have ads, which gets them revenue that they lose in hosting servers with VPS back and. I think that is a good trade-off, like, um, give, give and take, whatever that is better. And the things he said make sense, like, of course you have logic to that, but it's really kind of misinformation because people are going to be thinking that, oh, 24 7 servers are fake and all, while well, it's actually not. There is a lot of inf misinformation on that, and if you see the pinned comment that he made, probably his pinned comment, I haven't seen that video in like ages. He said that, well, Turfusman servers are really possible, because of course he gave the example of Phallix, which is actually a clever way to not let your, um, not let your evidence or whatever that you can say down, because Phallus is like the worst that you can use. Sure, they give you a lot of RAM, but a lot of RAM doesn't. Okay, okay, a lot of RAM doesn't really trade off for performance in terms of cores and threads. So, what the aim of this video is is to just let you know that free twenty four seven servers actually exist and they're not fake. Sure, they're not really um live in a permanent basis but um they do exist and they do work and in this video i really showed you how they work and i really told you so yeah i shared my information that you guys should definitely be aware of and not really go after people that are owners of the host because some random guy on the internet said that they're you know scams and all but what it doesn't need <laughs> so yeah don't go after chicken or chicken or whatever your name is man if you're watching this video then forgive me if i offended you and if his fans are watching too forgive me and i don't i can't really do anything about it it's like bugged me a lot because there was a lot of misinformation in the video and it still kind of bugs me 
it'll only stop bugging me after I release this video. So I'm really gonna do that quickly. And okay, this guy just lost it himself. So um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.